of YouTube. So... Picked up these Timbrins, and, uh, they're a lot smaller than I thought they would be, but, I don't know, maybe that's just me. Gonna try and get them on today. First, I gotta show you guys why I got them. So sassy on cold start. Why are you so sassy? I even had freaking cold. Oh, well, first thing we're gonna measure before we hook it up, we're gonna look at how much it squats. So tape measures on the ground. Right now it sits at 41 and a little over 41 and a quarter. So looking at it now, sure it is fully hooked up. There is a gap. Not resting on anything. I'm assuming it's gonna be around 37. Oh no. So definitely not bad. Only squats about an inch and a quarter. Maybe a little bit more close to an inch and a half so not a huge reason to get timbrins and it still sits pretty level but we do have two ATVs and all of our gear that we put in here and then typically if we end up bringing people it's kind of another reason why we wanted to get this so that's why we're doing it. So, as you guys can tell, um, with the inch and a quarter, inch and a half drop, we're gonna install the timbrins. Now, I already put some PB blaster up underneath where we need to take it all out. There it is, right up there. That little goofy bump stop thing. So, we'll take that out. Hopefully the bolts don't rust off because, you know, this is freezing cold Minnesota and all they do is spray ice, or I mean ice, salt all over the road, so f*** me, you know. Look at that rust. Stupid. <sighs> Should be fun. Everyone always says it's only like 10, 15, 20 minute install, but for me, I bet it's going to be. So, sit right down over there. If you stay, I doubt it. Hey guys, so, <clears throat> quick recap of our last portion of the video. So, I was going to have uh, the Timberins installed. We were going to go with those. Um, I think the last bit of video I had, I was showing you where they were going to go. Uh, come to find out, Minnesota weather makes everything rusty. Who'd have thought? It's really weird. Never would, have, never would have guessed that, but we ended up having to have the bump stops welded on because I didn't see the point of drilling out those screws and trying to find new screws only to have them rusted up there again. So they're welded up. They're going to stay up there for the rest of the truck's life, however long that may be. <clears throat> so I didn't do a finalized video yet. I will do a finalized video when we get to the trailer. Uh, it's been about two or three weeks. A lot has happened. Uh, radiator started leaking in the truck, so we ended up taking care of that. Um, got a TIG welded aluminum one. And then 
some issues with the coolant system after the flush. Uh, basically just got a new thermostat and it seems to be working fine now. So we are gonna drive out to deer camp uh, because deer season has started through this video. I didn't intend on it being this long. I think I told you that, but we are gonna head out <clears throat> and back the truck underneath the trailer just set it on it and see how much squat we actually get so I think we ended up with an inch and a quarter without the timbrens and now we will uh, we'll see what the actual difference is so I mean an inch and a quarter really isn't that bad you know I'm going from a half ton to a full ton not not a full ton three quarter ton truck and I really haven't even shown other than Instagram I really haven't showed the truck that we upgraded to for pulling but I'll, I'll give kind of a, a glimpse of that when we get to deer camp. We, uh, we're we gonna head out now and we'll kind of videotape as we go. I'll show you the timberins, I'll show you the squat, we'll measure it out. Um, I'll again, I'll start out from the bottom of the tire, we'll measure to the top of the fender flare, or the bottom of the fender flare. And then we'll do the same thing when it's hooked up. So, shouldn't be, I can't imagine it would squat much at all. Uh, right now the timberins ride about half an inch to three quarters of an inch off of the axle. So I guarantee there would be a three quarter inch squat, but that's half of what we had before. So we'll, we'll see. Uh, I'm not gonna do any driving with them yet just cause the, the trailer is set up for deer season. So I just wanna get a good idea of what it's gonna be like when it's know how it how the timber is going to react on the axle and we'll go from there so all right a little montage here a little over an inch maybe an inch and an eighth to an inch and a quarter here as well so about an inch and an eighth to an inch and a quarter so we drop from 41 and 7 eighths maybe 42 I mean the timbers are completely touching 
here we go we're measuring now originally the measurement was 41 and 7 eighths approximately and it looks like we dropped all the way down to 40 and a quarter sorry 40 and a quarter right here now it doesn't make a whole lot of sense because I thought originally that we only lost an inch and a quarter now maybe I did my math wrong the trailer is sitting level the truck doesn't look like it took any weight at all so oh yeah here that's the new truck yay um, uh, Timberns work if you want to skip to the end of the video Timberns work I don't know what else you want you want me to say guys um, if you don't want to watch this entire video Timberns work period you don't have to watch the whole thing to see that I probably did my math wrong and I'll probably go back and do some research to see if maybe I screwed up my math but stock height it is about 42 inches from ground to the bottom of the fender flare um, how much I lose depends I might look back on that video and check to see and then I'll put a little disclaimer or something to kind of show that I fudged but I'm gonna do that now anyway you guys have a good day We'll catch you next time. Timbrins work. You want to skip these last three seconds just to just to know instead of seeing the science behind it. Timbrins work. They, it, it works. I mean, the uh, the amount of of uh, drop the rear of the truck had versus before. I think it was closer to an inch and a half versus an inch and a quarter at a slant because the front of the truck was actually articulating a little bit. So made I'm assuming it made a little bit of difference I, I don't know specifically but there was a, there was less of a drop so we are gonna assume that Timberns work I mean you've seen every other video on YouTube I'm, I'm assuming this is just one of the few that have come out after the fact I again I assume to show that they work so I was thinking about doing airbags they did airbags originally on the half ton I didn't see a need to do them on this truck because they're expensive. I think it was $700 versus $250. So I kind of veered away from that, especially when they do the exact same thing. And the ride quality is comparable. Um, never pulled with the Timberins fully loaded. So that'll be an experience in itself. Haven't gotten that far. Uh, like I said, been dealing with the radiator and the coolant system and all that stuff on this truck. So I wanted to get that all squared away before I ended up doing anything else. So that's why this video has been drawn out for about two or three weeks. Didn't really have a choice because I didn't have it. So the second I got it back, I wanted to do this review, get it out to you guys. Clearly it's not apples to apples. It's kind of a bummer. I would have liked it to be a little bit more comparable, but I give you what I get. So. Uh, if you don't trust this video, go find a, a video that actually has an apples to apples comparison. I've seen most of them. Most of them just show, oh, look, my half ton really benefited from this. I actually would like to put Timberins on the front axle of this truck because it is a straight axle in the front. It's not uh, independent front suspension, IFS. So, especially if I decide to put a plow on it, which is very possible in the future. Uh, I feel like those timberins in the front would be really, really nice to have with that load in the front from the plow. And the Cummins engine being as heavy as it is makes a big difference. So, anyway, guys, thanks for watching. Uh, I know it wasn't a great video and it wasn't super informative. I just wanted to show the gap difference. Uh, clearly, less of a gap difference. I'd, I'd buy them, I'd do it again. I haven't pulled with it, but I would do it again just because it's a third of the cost of what my bag setup was, and that was for a half ton truck. I can only imagine it's more expensive for a three quarter ton. So I never even, I didn't even pay attention to pricing at all because I just didn't want to deal with it. Uh, you get an airline freeze, you get an airline blowout. Uh, I never had that issue with my half ton, but there's always the potential. So this is just set it and forget it. I hear that so often. I mean, I've watched YouTube videos beforehand to kind of give me an idea if this is something I wanted to dive into. Uh, and it kind of pushed me towards it. 
just because I really don't need that adjustability. I pull one trailer, maybe in the future I'll end up getting a gooseneck. But even then, it'll help there, you know? So, anyway guys, thanks again for watching the video. Uh, like and subscribe, really, really appreciate it. All the support you guys have currently given. I know, I know we're not quite to that 1,000 subscriber mark yet, but I uh, hope we can get there soon. So, I'm in no rush. Whatever happens, happens, right? All right, take it easy, guys.